Okay, so what I want to show you how to hear, how to do here is to add a variation onto a variable product that already exists. So let's say you've decided that you want to add graduation as one of your card selections. So you got some cards in and they say, you know, congratulations on your graduation. And so you want to go ahead and add that in as an option. So the first thing you want to do is come up to is come down to products and come over here to attributes and this gives us our generic list of attributes that we that we have already up here and, and we're going to come down to type of card and I'm going to come right over here to where it says name and the only thing that I have to add in here is the name and I'm going to add in graduation and I'm just going to click add new type of card and now it's added me a new type of card called graduation so now that I've done that, I still need to come over to the products though and I need to add that variable to the products that I want. But now that I've already done that and since it's a product that we're going to have all of those variations used, we're not just going to pick and choose a few variations in there to use, then this is going to kind of make this a little simpler. So I'm going to click on the 12 balloons right here, which is a variable product. I'm going to come over here to attributes, come down to type of card and, and open that. Remember we're not over here at variations, we're at attributes. We don't ever need to go over to the variations tab when we're updating here. We only need to do this on the attributes tab. And all I'm going to do is come down here and I'm going to click select all. And When I do that it's going to scan and it's going to see that I already have all these others in there and then it's just going to drop in that one that I don't have. And then I just come up and click update. And now it has updated the product and when I click on 12 balloons I now have the option for a graduation card. So to reverse that process just to show you what that's like actually I'm going to come in here I'm going to come over to attribute and I'm going to get rid of that attribute because I don't actually want it. Click get rid of it. Click update. Come back to my attributes and I can go right back down to type of card I can go right over here to graduation and see right down here when I hover over it I get this little list I come right down here and I click delete now that deletes that and it is gone simple as that so that is how you add a variation like that to a product now if the product for instance, and we kind of went over this in uh, the last one, but we'll go over this again real quick. If the product is like a gift basket and it's utilizing, um, it's utilizing variations that have, put, have that have been inputted into it manually, then you do need to come into the attributes list and you do need to change those and add those manually in here utilizing the pipe command. Um, and you do have to add them each in uh, one at a time. That's very important. But this other method is simply how to change uh, attributes when they've been used primarily through the attributes tab here. And these attributes are added. Remember when we're, when we're adding a product, these attributes are added in instead of once you're down, when you've got down, when you're down here and you're in the attributes section, instead of piping those in, it's just instead of instead of just clicking custom product attribute, which if we click custom custom product attribute, we get the area here to go ahead and 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 you do that. But that's not what we want. We come down here. We see we already have these pre-made product categories here. And if I click type of card and click add, then it gives me this, and I can just click select all. So and so that is how we alter variable products on already or how we add variations to already existing variables.